Yeah. As usual, she's always on the phone. Hey Tom, you gotta pay up. <laughs> pay up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to Korea out here, huh? <laughs> Tomorrow morning. I'm out here. Hey, uh. I need, I need pictures of me. Get a quarter for me. I said the same thing. I'm like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, who's who's the commander now? Mr. Woman. Woman. Is he still Woman. a captain? Yeah. Oh. Captain Woman. Here's our first time right by here. Sammy, how you doing, bud? Sammy wants to sign up. I'm telling you, he wants to go to Afghanistan. Yeah, to what? Huh? Back out of the oh, no. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, Sammy, do you have any good words for Jim? Ah, uh, man, just wish him luck. And uh, if he needs a door gun, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these lazy people here. This is where the bar is. So we need to I have a laptop I have. Oh, yeah. I brought it with me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, as soon as I got there, they needed an SIP at Victorville. So they immediately sent me up there for two weeks. Oh, so you're still flying Black Hawks until you go to C12? Yeah, but I got rid of the Black Hawks. Oh, okay. Oh, really? I told him. Oh, really? See who's at her table today? Randy Jackson and his lovely wife. <laughs> oh. Yes. There's Jack and Rico. Say hi. Right. 
Governor Baker. And at this time, what I want to do is go ahead and uh, bring up uh, Captain Woolman. A couple things we want to present to them. <laughs> what I really want to tell everybody, the reason why, I want to let you out first, but I'm going to say it for last, the reason why we have everybody here is actually all of you guys are going back on active duty. <laughs> Feed you, give you some alcohol, get you in here. So, anyway, we'll you be, better bring we'll the processing will be done in the next building. We have all the guys from Jack next door. We're we'll doing all the processing for you here. Um, Chris, can you help me out here? I'm going to bring we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, Ed, first. What are we doing for Ed? Ed? Come on up. Yeah. All right. I'd appreciate if everyone would stand for this, especially the soldiers, because we're going to go ahead and give. And a well deserved award. This is, uh, <clears throat> this is a uh, medal that is just not just given out. I, I'm really, I was really delighted to get the invitation from Chris uh, because uh, I spent 10 years at Los Alamos and I missed a lot of opportunities like this. And it's always great to get folks together like a reunion. It usually happens at a wedding or a funeral. And this is a lot more of an enjoyable atmosphere for that to happen. Again, thank you. And uh, Jim and I go back a little ways, but before that, uh, it's kind of scary, but uh, Ed Yan and I flew Hueys 36 years ago. Uh, one other thing I'd like to note on is Bambi bucket training. On one training session, a certain pilot got the nickname John Glenn. <laughs> Jim and I seven. Mercury Seven. Mercury Seven around the Pendleton area. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> the seats and chairs. We got Rene Dublier with the multicolored umbrella, and the, everybody's got their big recliners, so it looks like a big circus out there. But anyway, when guys are flying and they're doing their landings and coming into our wherever our landing area is, the rest of the guys sit out in their lawn chair and kind of watch and kind of rate them. And that's that landing doctor. That's a that's a great land. Must be fun. But and <laughs> this particular day, we're landing, landing, landing. Everybody's coming in, coming in, and our tent is set up. Probably the landing area should be from here to about the parking lot where the parking lot sits. Mr. Bob, Pratt, of course, let me set this up. Jim Gibson is sitting in his lawn chair, relaxing. He's got his uh, boxer so shorts on. He's out there, he's sunny, he's got that, that uh, you know, the sun visor thing, he's relaxing. <laughs> Lip balm on. And uh, Mr. Price, <laughs> now mind you, in the years I've known Jim, 14 years or so, I've probably seen him lose his shit, probably never. He's just Jim, it's not his style. Well, this is the day he lost his shit. <laughs> Bob Price was doing the flying a VIP, so Mr. Bob Price, decided he needs to take that VIP and land them right in front of our tent. Now the people from the Blackhawks know the dust that gets brought up with the... I mean, we're at Camp Roberts, and you know, it only takes about an hour, 20, hour and a half to get to, from uh, Camp Bob to Los Al. We left at 3 o'clock and we were there 5 till 4. <laughs> <laughs> so that was one of the flights that wasn't very slow. Yeah, the other thing I have to say is Jim and I went to the... The funniest ones I was ever with you. We were flying formation. We had three Hawks. If I remember right, you were in the lead. I was number two, and I forget who was number three. Well, Jim, in his infinite wisdom, if he wanted to throw a problem in the scenario, like if an aircraft was going down and he wanted somebody else to take over the lead, it was bozo, bozo, bozo. Well, me being number two, I was going to lead. So he keys the mic, says, bozo, bozo, bozo. I keyed the mic, say, negative, bozo. And he went on a merry way, and he never did. Over the years that I flew with Jim, um, the, if there's one word to really describe his professionalism, you know, I've, we've, we've had a good time personally uh, in the cockpit and just out and whatever, but uh, my goodness, I've been sitting here trying to figure out what is funny that I can tell about him. And we've had plenty of laughs in, in the cockpit, and, but... It doesn't matter if we're doing night vision goggles or, or whatever the case may uh, was. It was very professional. And one thing that came, his professionalism didn't stop just at the flying part. No, we always haven't seen eye to eye all the time, but uh, we really appreciate all your 
with all your support for us, taking care of your crews, and uh, we very much appreciate it. So I like that. Thank you. Today, like I hope everybody does the same thing that I do. Is you know, every time I fly, I think about different people that I've flown with, Roger, Ed, and definitely Jim, and uh, take a little piece from each one of those guys. And you know, keeps you safe. You learn things from these guys, and uh, that's all. I'm just gonna miss this guy big time. Thank you. Give it to Jim. Say a couple You gotta say a couple things. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, I guess I'm gonna tell a few stories since this is everybody's party tonight. I told Glenn and uh, Chris. I said, don't give me a retirement party. I said, let's have a party. Have it for everyone. But they still made it a retirement party. But. Uh, a couple of things came up as these guys were talking. Somebody, we had that new Blackhawk. We had a brand new Blackhawk that had like 40 hours on it here. We had no Blackhawk pilots. Randy and I uh, go to Blackhawk school. We come back and they bless us as PICs. You and Randy are PICs. But it was again, you and Randy go fly 100 hours before it went to, uh, before we lost it to Desert Storm. <laughs> story was, if you guys don't like my map, bring your own, but none of them had a map, you know. <laughs> it's like a shot with a shotgun.